The artist of choice that I've chosen for this assignment is Frank Ocean and I've decided to redesign the cover of his album Channel Orange. I started the process by listening to the album on repeat on Spotify whilst writing down some words that came to mind and drawing several thumbnail sketches. I started doing some in-depth research by reading different interpretations of the album by other people. I also found this letter that Frank wrote right before he released Channel Orange, which could relate to what the album means, and read lyric analysis for each of his songs and watched an interview about the album. I knew that since I'm not good at illustrating and drawing, I would use photography for my me medium of choice. I then went on to Behance and looked at other redesigns of the album as well as Frank Ocean's other albums too. I also went on Pinterest to find layout inspirations and photo shoot ideas and decided that I wanted to use orange gels for the photo shoot. Whilst researching on Pinterest, I came across this quote by Frank Ocean about the color orange which helped me a lot with creating concepts. Since I didn't have proper lighting gels to use for the photo shoot, I used red, yellow and orange cellophane sheets instead. I actually ended up having two photo shoots because the first one was to test the lighting and how many cellophane layers I would need. I used two lights, a desk lamp and a floor lamp. In the first photo shoot, I layered the red and yellow sheets together to create orange. However, the lighting looked more red than orange, even when I tried layering more yellow. So in my second photo shoot, I used the orange cellophane instead and changed to a different location in my room. I also wore an orange t-shirt to fit in with the orange lighting and to save myself some editing time. After the photo shoot, I selected a few of my favorites and began iterating. I played with a number of different crops, added various effects, but in the end I decided to keep it simple with only using one effect that gave this vintage look to the photo. I liked the original font that they used for the original cover album, which was Cooper Black, and decided to use that for the redesigned covers as well. For the back cover, I traced an image of a vintage television on Illustrator and placed it in the corner. As for the inserts, I used two previous iterations for the album cover and turned them into black and white. I then cut out circles using the ellipse tool on Photoshop to show the orange which added a nice contrast. I did the same thing for the poster except with the reverse colour so that the circle was in black and white and the rest was in orange. These are the other options that I had for the inserts and the poster. For the vinyl labels, I wanted to do a similar effect as the insert covers and the posters where the black and white and the orange colors were reversed. So for side A, the background is white with orange text for the label and where the vinyl is also orange. And then for side B, it's vice versa and just like the opposite colors. Um, I wanted to keep it simple but effective, which is why the labels are quite minimal. And this is my final design.